And when you're ready to go into a lovely relaxed trance, I want you to take a nice big deep breath in and just a long exhale. That's right. And so as you lie there, so comfortably, I want you to think about the top of your head. Many people don't realize that tension, it often starts in the little muscles of the scalp. So I want you to think about those little muscles in the skin of your scalp and just allow them to let go and relax. And now all the muscles of your face, just let them go slack. Your forehead and your eyes and eyelids, the cheeks, mouth and jaw muscles. Because it's a wonderful feeling when you let your face just totally relax. In fact, you can actually feel the skin settling and smoothing out. And it might mean that your mouth opens slightly, but whatever's best to you, you can just let it happen. Simply unclenching your teeth and relaxing your tongue. Because the more you physically relax, the more you can mentally relax. And just thinking about your neck and shoulder muscles now, and into the very tops of your arms, letting all tensions just drain away as you think on down through your elbows, into your forearms, down through your wrists, and into your hands, right the way down to the very tips of your fingers and tips of your thumbs, just letting all those muscles let go and relax. And now think about your breathing, noticing that you can breathe even more steadily, even more slowly, as you relax more and more, so you can let any tension in the chest area simply drain away as you think on down to your stomach muscles, letting those muscles relax too. And think down into your back now. That's right, the long muscles either side of the spine. Just let those muscles relax. And your waist and your main thigh muscles as you think on down to your knees, down to the shins and calves, just align all those areas to relax. And that's right all the way down, right the way through your ankles, through your feet, into the very tips of your toes. And now you're so beautifully relaxed Nobody's wanting anything. Nobody's expecting anything. And so right now there's absolutely nothing whatsoever for you to do except to relax. And I want you just to let your mind and your imagination drift, feeling lazy, easy and comfortable. And I want you to imagine that you're standing on the terrace of a lovely old house a house like a stately home or country mansion and you can feel the sun on your head and shoulders not too hot just comfortable and there's a gentle breeze playing against your skin as you look around you you notice an elegant marble flight of steps ten broad steps leading down into a beautiful sunken garden. A garden where you sense peace, well-being and comfort. So make it really vivid in your mind. And in a moment, I'm going to count down from 10 down to 0. As I count all the way down from 10 down to 0, I want you to imagine that each number 
is a step down on this beautiful staircase, a step down towards this beautiful garden, and each step you take is another step down into deeper and even deeper levels of relaxation, so that by the time I get to zero, you'll be as deeply relaxed as you can ever imagine, while still being able to hear and respond to the sound of my voice. 10. Take the first step down now, relaxing and letting go. 9. Feeling more and more relaxed. There's no need to hurry. Plenty of time. 8. Moving down easily now. Seven, deeper and deeper. Six, deeper still, your breathing becoming slower and steadier. Five, really relaxing now. Just let go. Four, becoming calmer and karma. Three. Karma still now. Two. More and more relaxed. One. All the way down now. To zero. And now you find yourself in this wonderful garden and you can feel the softness of the newly cut grass beneath your feet as the scent of masses upon masses of brightly coloured flowers seem to envelop you and there's the gentle sound of birds singing echoing faintly in the stillness of the air it's almost a magical place stretching into the distance as far as the eye can see in all directions with beautiful shrubs and tall elegant trees an ornamental fountain which seems to feed into a gently trickling stream this fascinates you and you wander to the edge of the stream and gently lower yourself down onto the soft grassy bank you just sit for a while, gazing into the cool, clear water, marvelling at the sense of tranquility that sweeps over you now, and listening to the faint sound of the fountain splashing into the pool that feeds this gentle stream, and after a while, you lay back on the grass and gaze up at the clearest of blue skies and as you relax more and more your eyes begin to close and you just drift off into a deep and relaxing sleep and as you sleep you have a dream and as you lie there without a single care in the world you realise that the feeling of relaxation, tranquility, that inner calmness within yourself, is within your control. And no longer do you need to give in to perception of fear and chaos around you. Instead you have the ability to focus on what's important to you and within your control, your thoughts, your actions, and it's wonderful to know that the power to boost your immune system lies within yourself too, that right now it's within your grasp, and to start with, a few simple life changes, which I'm sure you are aware, will help enormously, and by reminding your subconscious mind of these changes, you'll find them happening easily and effortlessly. 
and it's important to make sure that you do get enough rest. So in times of stress, or when going to bed, you'll easily remember how you are feeling right now, so calm and so relaxed, without a single care in the world, just laying there, letting your muscles sink even deeper, feeling more and more relaxed. And every night when you go to bed, you can relax yourself like this and get the most revitalizing night's sleep. And you can rest knowing that your subconscious mind can take care of the rest, making sure that during sleep you can balance hormone levels, you can balance your weight at a healthy level, have command, clear thinking and reasoning, improved mood, vibrant, healthy skin, and above all, an increase in the resistance to illnesses. And you make sure that on waking, you take control and nourish your body appropriately, and remove the desire for poisons that rob your body of minerals and vitamins. And you find it easy to stay well clear of refined white sugar, and upon reducing this type of sugar from your diet, you'll find noticeable results in your energy levels, your weight distribution, immunity, and your ability to think clearly. Instead of a diet full of sugar, you choose to fill up on foods rich in positive nutrients, like fruits and vegetables, absorbing their antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, fibre and enzymes, which give your immune system the ultimate boost, and you choose life quenching water to drink, and plenty of it, and you find great pleasure in moving your body more, exercise has been found to make a noticeable difference to your health and happiness, by releasing endorphins, and so you take any opportunity you can to enjoy the sun, and soak up vitamin D while maintaining social distancing. And above all, you make sure you take time to enjoy the time to yourself, and indulge yourself in a hot bath, or an energy work session when you want one. Our bodies respond to our emotions, so if you're feeling anxious, it can manifest in a sore throat, or a cold, so you pay attention to warning signs of sore throats, headaches, or exhaustion, so you can keep them from getting worse. And now that your subconscious mind knows exactly what it should be putting in your body, and what to avoid, it's time to take a trip deeper into the depths of your immune system, because your immune system is made up of little tiny fighters who attack any foreign objects that enter your body, whether they are parasitic worms, bacteria, or viruses. And when these foreign objects enter your body, your little fighters find them, capture them, and eat them all up, destroying all the badness in them. And this is a very hard job, since sometimes it's difficult for them to find them amongst the maze of your body cells. And also foreign pathogens are constantly evolving to try and get past your immune system, so they must keep themselves up to date with these changes. And these immune fighters work really hard for you, sometimes putting their lives at risk and they do it all for nothing, other than a free home, they have no thanks, whatsoever. And so that is just what I want you to do now, and these little people communicate through the power of your mind, and by sending positive messages to them, they will receive your thanks, 
and be inspired to work even harder for you and fight off the bad guys so much faster. And so now I want you to concentrate hard. Think about all those little fighters inside you and what an incredible job they do. And you can imagine the number of fighters increasing in number so easily so that it's almost like you can feel an army of strength build within you now. And they keep you up and going. And without them, You don't know what you would do. They are the best workers you could hope for. And you are eternally grateful. And as you send out these positive messages of gratitude, it gives your body so much more power. It gives your body the strength it needs to overcome the chaos of the outside world. All the different parts of your immune system are able to function together fitting effortlessly together like pieces in a jigsaw, in perfect harmony. And you can delight in the feeling as you know that your body is running as it was meant to. You look after it, and in return, you can have faith that it looks after you. And these suggestions are firmly embedded in your subconscious mind and grow stronger and stronger each and every day and you become a much healthier person and find your resistance to everyday illnesses becoming so much greater and if you feel the stress of life getting on top of you trying to run you down you can pause for a while and let your body get back on track for it will do just that Having evolved over hundreds of thousands of years, you can trust that it knows what to do. And it's like a finely tuned engine. But like all great masterpieces, it needs maintenance and some tender loving care. Thank you.